No macro lens, no problem. Welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Finn Badgley. I'm a commercial photographer and all around content creator. And today we're looking at three different ways you can get a macro lens on the cheap. Because if you don't have one and you need a macro shot in a pinch, here are some ways you can do just that. Or if you just wanna save some money. Number one, the age old trick. You've probably heard this one before. What you wanna do is take your lens and actually flip it around. So rather than mounting camera lens, you do camera lens. You kind of free lens it as they call it. And actually reversing that will have it function as a macro lens. And not exactly ideal, but in a pinch it can work. Now something that's a little more legit to turn any lens into a macro lens is simply adding an extension tube. This moves the image circle further ahead and therefore makes the image closer to focus. You won't be able to focus as far so you won't get to true infinity but if you need something in focus really close you will get it. Just add some extension tubes and you'll be set. You can add more or less depending on how close you need that focus to be. And this can work with just about every lens, although the different lenses you try it on will vary and it'll offer different results. Now, number three, this is my personal favorite one and actually a great way that I found a macro lens on the cheap is simply using a old film lens and adapting it to your camera's mount. So this is actually a thread mount macro lens. And then I just threw a Canon adapter on there and now I can use it with any of my cameras and get some great macro shots. The only thing is this is manual focus, but usually doing macro photography, you'd probably wanna be manually focused anyways. Set that on a tripod and if you got a focus stack, you focus stack. Here's a couple images that I've taken with this lens to show you the results you can get because honestly, it's pretty impressive and this cost me a fraction of what an actual macro lens would be. Now the quality may not always be quite the same or these film lenses may offer different quirks in the overall image but this one actually gives a great overall look to the image and is something that even compares with a lot of my regular Canon lenses. This is the Hanamex 80 to 200 and when it is fully in the macro form is when it is at 80 millimeters. So consider this an 80 mil macro lens if you're using that there. It's super sharp. There's not a lot of fringing or anything weird, which is always a good sign. We don't want that, especially in a macro lens because you'll notice it more. Now, nothing can beat the clinical sharpness of modern day macro lenses, but if you don't want to fork out a ton of money on one, you can use some of these tricks to have one on the cheap and these will also offer a little bit more flexibility as well a little bit of a short video today but i hope it helps you take better macro photos so with all that said subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell to be notified for all future videos work hard rest often and as always i'll see you on the next one